Hello, Sun Barani. This is your beautiful lady, lady T, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. To all the new guys, to all the new guys, I'm giving you three seconds to subscribe subscribe and subscribe and to all the returning subscribers thank you for your loyalty and thank you for watching my videos because basically without an audience then i do not have a channel i do not have a channel guys without an audience and more more thank you to all my returning subscribers so this is basically a follow-up video from the video that i posted the previous time on operating in austria if you have not watched that video please please scroll down to my channel definitely it is there the link is below on what is an au pair answers all your questions on where can you be an au pair who is eligible on being an au pair and everything pertaining or pairing and on today's video guys i'll be basically sharing with you all the requirements that are needed at the austrian embassy highlighted austrian embassy so basically all the requirements that you need to take with you when you're going for that um austrian embassy appointment and mind you with the austrian embassy the process Process is quite different um, from other countries basically you first apply for a residence permit and then once your residence permit is, has been approved then the follow-up will be applying for a what for a visa so basically on today's video i'll be sharing with you all requirements all documents that you take with you when you're going to the austrian embassy so you know what stay right tuned because guys you'll be educated today and do not mind if when bigger pants like once and again it's simply because guys i had to do some research in order to give you information that is accurate and i had to jot down a bit of notes in this beautiful book of mine and yep so requirement number one the first document that you need to take with you when going to the embassy mind you before i start giving you out the documents you don't go to the embassy without a family guys the first step is find a family once you have gotten that family then you can now go to the embassy for the for the residence permit appointment so basically the first document is you need to have a valid passport like what do i mean by a valid passport a valid passport is a passport that allows you to travel a passport that is not expired so basically they need to see your valid passport you don't take a copy as in a photocopy of the passport but you take the original book of the passport and then the second document that they need to see is a birth certificate you might be asking yourself why a birth certificate probably they want to verify that you are the person that you're claiming to be right and not just any birth certificate but then it has to be an authenticated birth certificate i know that it's a challenge because nami i went through the same challenge um simply because i thought that authentication it means um uh, it means who come by at the police station and getting your your documents certified but basically those are two different processes authentication is the ver it's the verification of a document to verify that your document is original and your document is true that's basically what authentication is and in every country there is um, a department called the ministry of foreign affairs for instance if you are a zimbabwean and you're watching this video and you want to come to austria then worry no more cause um the ministry of foreign affairs that deals with authentication in zimbabwe is basically in harare so if you go on google and you type ministry of foreign affairs basically you get the address it's in harare that's where you can get your birth certificate authenticated so basically you first take your birth certificate to the ministry of foreign affairs for authentication when you get to the ministry of foreign affairs guys they definitely know what authentication is so when you go with your birth certificate the original copy and you like i'm here to authenticate my birth certificate but now they'll do the process and they will charge you whatever amount it is and then after that after getting your birth certificate authenticated by the ministry of foreign affairs then you cannot take the birth certificate to the austrian embassy in your country for authentication basically so um the authentication is a two, is a two-way process you first get the your document authenticated at the ministry of foreign affairs of your country and then after that you take the document for authentication at the embassy or at the austrian embassy hope i was clear so the second document is the authenticated birth certificate not just a clear birth certificate the embassy won't accept that they want a birth certificate that is authenticated and then the third document is you need to have a photo of yourself photo of yourself i do not mean a selfie neither is it a full body photo but basically those id photos just 
log in, in just log into the austrian embassy website and you will find the quite the right dimensions for the photo that you're supposed to bring with you and then the next document is health insurance health insurance do not worry about that because i know that most of us in africa we don't even have medical aids because like we don't worry about that so now we don't worry about the health insurance simply because the minute you get a family the family is going to provide you with the health insurance so basically this document it comes from your host family the next document that is document number five that is an ams AMS document, AMS document. So this document as well, it comes from your house family, so don't worry about it. But it's a very important document because, Mina, when I was going to the embassy, um, I do not know what happened, but then somewhere, somehow, I forgot i didn't have the document with me and i didn't even realize that i don't have the document i only realized when i got there and the consulate was like amo is your ms document and then i started going through my folder and that's when that's when i realized with how i don't have the ms document but guys make sure that you go through all your documents before you go for that visa or residence permit application because you might not find a consulate who is kind some consulates will actually tell you which you know what since you don't have your documents in order please go back home and report book your appointment and you basically don't want that so ams document don't worry about it it comes from the family but it's a very important document the next document that you need guys is a contract a contract you'll be given a contract by your family and when you're taking this contract to the embassy make sure it's a signed contract you do not have to go to the embassy with a contract that is not signed like what's the purpose of going to the embassy with a contract that is not signed you have to go with you you have to take with you a contract that is what that is signed and then the next document is a dodge certificate by now watching this video i'm pretty sure you've completed your dodge lessons or probably you're contemplating of starting the lessons either way you need a dodge certificate when going for the residence permit application and then the next document is a copy of data page of your passport copy of data page of your passport what do i mean by that that is basically um the page in your passport whereby it has got all the information on what's your name your surname your age where were you born um when and your signature that is the copy of the data page of the passport that they need to see at the embassy and the next document is an application form application form filled in application form properly filled in application form i filled in my application form in english uh, but then it's best to consult your embassy and find out that should you fill in the application form in dutch or in english but mine was filled in in english properly filled in and signed in english and the next document is copies of your police clearance police clearance that is not older than three months they need to see police clearance copies and also the police clearance it has to be authentic so likewise you take your police clearance to the ministry of foreign affairs you tell them that you're here to authenticate your police clearance and then after the minister of foreign, foreign affairs has done the authentication you then take your police clearance to the austrian embassy for authentication hope i was clear and then the next document is reservation of appointment you need to book your appointment before going to the embassy and you also need to print out the copy of reservation of appointment so i'll just go through the list of the documents that you need firstly you need a valid passport secondly you need an authenticated birth certificate thirdly you need a photo of yourself dimensions log into the austrian embassy fourth you need a health insurance don't worry about this document it comes from the family fifth you need an ms document also comes from the family the next document is a contract it also comes from the family but it has to be signed both by the family and by the au pair the next document is a dodge certificate next document is copy of data page of passport next document is an application form that is filled and signed next document is copies of police clearance police clearance that is not older than three months and police clearance that is authenticated and the last document is reservation of appointment so basically these are the documents that you need to take with you when going to the austrian embassy for residence permit application as an au pair for more information i would advise you to log into the austrian embassy website because they've got all updates and everything that you need to 
nor pertaining the documents that you need but you know what this is the end of our video and thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in do not forget guys to like to subscribe to share my channel because basically guys we have to grow this family and thank you for watching till we meet again next week with another entertaining inspiring video let it is out of here cheers